I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an RTX uh, graphic card this is a GeForce RTX uh, 3070 in GPU the brand is from a gigabyte or gigabyte and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste uh, really easy and you can do this at home by following the video I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using tool number one is a screwdriver set having a good screwdriver at home it's really a good thing to have I usually use the iFixit uh, screwdriver set as they have all the bits that you need and if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not grab yourself a curved tweezers and for the opening tools I usually use a guitar pick but for this one, we don't need opening tools, I bet, I hope. And we're gonna be using a workshop towel. Workshop towels are really handy to have. Don't use any microfiber uh, towels or anything like that. Use a workshop towel. Because once you put an alcohol on this one and you rub it over the capacitors, this uh, towel is just gonna rip apart and not uh, damage, it won't damage the capacitors. But if you use a microfiber, they can tangle in between the capacitors and it will, the strings will pull the capacitor and you can damage it. That's why I recommend you highly use a, a workshop towel. And we're gonna be using 99% alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 99%. And we're gonna be using a good thermal paste, Thermal Grizzly Extreme. These are one of the best thermal paste out there. Uh, I'll leave the link in the video description. And with all this on hand, let's get it started and i hope i haven't missed anything so let's do it first thing first we're going to remove few screws on the back we're going to use a uh, phillips number one and let's go ahead and remove whatever the screw that we see this one this is small ones before we go to the main one so remove this screw right there screw right there uh, at the back tiny screws once we do that, there's no more screws in here except these four screws for the bracket. Also, we could remove the face plate, but I don't see that the face plate is attached to anything, so let's just leave it for now. Uh, the plastic is not holding the face plate. Or is it? Let me see. No. The no holding. So let's go ahead and leave the face plate. If you want to remove it, there's a few screws in the front. Let's go ahead and remove the bracket for the GPU, the CPU unit. They have a little spring on them, don't lose them. All right, now that we remove these ones, we can, we can see the connector is right in here. And there's, no con and there's a few connectors on top, so one of them is for the fan, two is for LED. So let's just start from here. And we're gonna separate the heat sink gently. We're gonna pull it away, and there we go. So we're gonna and we're gonna detach the cables. We're gonna pull the cable, just wiggle it around. It should release itself. I'm gonna use a tweezer to help it out. Sometimes they do get really, because it heats up a lot down there. And they do come in a pain in the ass. You can remove the whole thing from the bottom if it comes out like that. That's no problem too. If you remove the whole jack, and then you can detach the jack easily here. The tiny clips on the sides, I'm gonna detach it. And once I remove it like this, I make sure I remove it in this position. And in the same position, I'm gonna put it back on the board. Just squeeze it down there. There we go. Okay. Now we can go ahead and detach the other fans. So again wiggle around if you pay attention there's a tiny two clips on the back here that they hold it so you can put something underneath uh, to lift it up a little bit 
and then it will be much easier to pull the jack away. Same thing in here back there. Just you want to open it up. If it doesn't budge again. Usually these things, they come like a nothing, like really easy. So once we remove this one here, and we can see the hole. The thermal pads, I'm not gonna replace them. You don't need to replace the thermal pads. Thermal pads are really, honestly, really good. No need to replace them. We're gonna only replace the uh, heat sink, the thermal paste in here, and it's really easy to do this. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna grab a little bit of workshop towel, rip it apart, stoke it in an alcohol, and we're gonna wipe over the GPU. There we go. And we're gonna use the same one to remove the excess of the thermal paste of the heat sink. Uh, you can grab more workshop towel. If you don't want to remove the replace the thermal pads in here, this is a 0.5 millimeter thermal pads are around uh, for the for the VRAMs are 0.5 millimeters thermal pads, and uh, for the um, this component around it beside this one, which is I have no idea which one this one goes to. So let's see. So this was like this. This component right here is the some power regulators. This one is a one millimeter and one millimeter and one millimeter. So the power controllers one millimeters and 0.5 millimeters. All right, now once we did this one, we're gonna grab the clean side of the towel. We're gonna do a second pass, make sure there's no dust particles or anything on top. And we are gonna grab our thermal paste. And we're gonna grab a little bit. Just remember, a little bit goes away enough. Just put a little bit on the die. And you wanna just Bubble, like a spread it right on top of the CPU. Make sure you cover the crystal die entirely. Once you got this one in there, and you're almost set to go. So we're gonna clean up the spatula we have in here. There we go. Let's put that one in its place. Now we just gotta put it back together. So what I'm gonna do here, let's put these cables, tangle them back in there. These two cables go underneath here. That one right there. And that one over here. Okay, two cables there. We're gonna bring it over and we are gonna put the fan connector on the second one, they're gonna be removed. Well, this is the RGB, the LED lights. So we're gonna put it down like this and we are gonna make sure the screw holes match. And we're gonna bring it down straight and we're not gonna lift it up again. And while you're holding it down in the middle, and you wanna cross screw them right on top. But if you lift it up, you have to repaste, it's gonna create air bubbles in there, and you don't want that. So there we go. 
put the two long screws in the front end of the GPU. And the short ones goes at the back end of the GPU. And this is how you do your service for your RTX 3070 gigabyte GPU. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel for more content.